Now that we've completed the Nevo slider and also the basic slider next last week, let's have a look at these. Um, generally, people call these light boxes, but uh, on our modern website, people want to be able to click on a thumbnail and have a have it pop up in a gorgeous box like so. So these, this is called Lightbox 2. That's what we're going to build today. I'm going to go to this second one. And these are single image. There's no navigation between the two. But sometimes you want to build an image set like this. Here are four images. And if we click on this one, you can see we can navigate through. We can even use the arrow keys. And now we cannot go any further, but we can go back. So somehow these are um, hooked together and escape often takes you out of those light boxes or you can just hit the X key. So rather than download the example from Lightbox 2, um, the examples actually, um, sometimes they put too much information in the examples and put all the instructions. So what I've done for you, if you click on the link at the bottom of the YouTube video, you'll see mm118lightbox.zip. And these are all the individual files. We don't want to bother with those. We want to go File, Download. And we want to download the, the zip file I built for you. And I've already done that. Here it is. Um, and I unzipped it here. So let's inspect this. Um, first of all, we see um, our JavaScript files. This is all jQuery and JavaScript. We don't need to touch that. Our images, it's a little unusual. They have um, uh, a bunch of the um, previous and next buttons up there, and they have another f folder called examples. So we have a thumbnail for the six image, uh, thumb hyphen six dot jpeg, and then we should have one image dash thick six dot jpeg, and it's the large version. So those are pretty well named. So that's the structure, the CSS, all that's in that is the um, required CSS that come with the demo. And you could customize that with your growing knowledge of uh, cascading style sheets. So let's open up this in Aptana. It's mm118demo.html, not the index file. You could look at the index file, but that's the one that came with the tutorial. So let's inspect this. It really boils down to... Um, thumb 3, thumb 4, thumb 5, thumb JPEG. Those are the thumbnails and the reference is to the full size image here, image dash 3 and the thumbnail is thumb dash 3. So let's, um, well, let's see if it works. So we have four images and they should be changed together. So all that's working. So let's play around with it. If we wanted to make that first image, all these share the uh, set plants, 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 plants. So if we don't put a name in there, I'm going to take that out. Now our first image here is just um, referenced as lightbox, rel equals lightbox. So if we um, if we see that, we'll see this image pops out and we're not able to, um, pops up and we're not able to navigate it but these still belong to the set plants. So if you're following that, um, I'm going to undo it just to put it back the way it was. And uh, let's uh, let's do something. Um, here's a good tip of the day. In Aptana over here we can click down. These are all the elements that are contained in our document. And you can see we're able to for example, double click and we go directly to the H2 key, H2 um, code. So that's excellent. So back to the uh, demo, what do you think would happen if we put a 1 here and a 1 here and a 2 here and a 2 here? If I have those. So now we have um, four images, but they belong to two different sets because we changed the name. And here we go. We have the first one, we can go to the second one, but we cannot go further. That's the first set. And here, same thing, we can go to the next one, but we, ha we cannot go back. 
So that's the basics of the slider. It's um, here we need our uh, links to the uh, JS files in the JS folder, and, um, and they're using the long form of jQuery. jQuery here, and there's very little um, options here. It just uh, just pops up, and then we close the document. So your job would be to um, oh go get um, at least four images with four thumbnails and um, play around with them. You can make them parts of sets or have them pop up individually and um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial.